one of my subs, Dr. Vidi Boombats, was good enough to put a compilation of this ex MGTOW human who shames his male subs. This guy, this fraud, was finally accepted and validated by a woman. And he did a 180 and went after his subscribers. Now, I just want to point out that he was in these long-winded conversations with other MGTOWs like Thinking Ape, right? Where they espoused all the MGTOW talking points. So this guy, his channel is now turned into a dating channel. Get rid of the bad attitude. Five reasons you shouldn't be fake on dates. But here's the really important things. I survived 30 years of dating. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. So this guy was always a scam artist. Now we'll start here and we will critique. By the way, if you want the unedited version, I'll put Dr. Vinny's... Uh, video here in the subscription box okay and please do watch it you know a lot of people avoid the honest truth of the choices they do and don't make by going for the seemingly more advanced stuff like um biology and what high value this is and borderline personality disorder and all these pseudo scientific terms and jargon but he used these terms remember he used all these jargons himself. So now that he's got the girl, uh, he's now spitting on those same terms, right? Trying to feel really, really intelligent, but you won't face the fact that you refuse to shower, you don't shave, you don't want to get a job. You wow. This is MGTOW shaming 101. So dude, when, where, where are you here? Where are you? When you were 30 years of dating, you didn't shower all that time? <laughs> you can see what a scam artist this guy is. Now, what's going on here is his subs are calling him out, and he's, he's getting pissed. You can't take care of yourself. You're messy. You can't speak. You can't communicate who you are. Like, no, let's not talk about that. Let so... Why did you date for 30 years unsuccessfully? Are you saying you never bathed or showered and you don't know how to speak? Let's talk about the scientific stuff. Let's get the world right in all the scientific stuff. And then the world will be this unicorn utopia. Then we would have all helped fix the world. Yeah, what a great noble gesture while you're living like a slob with pizza boxes thrown around your house. And Wow, the butt hurt with this fraud is real. You can't take care of your own little world and you can barely string three sentences together. And all you do, your only intelligent phrases are things you remembered from the manosphere. She will never love you, like said by people more intelligent than you. What so if these guys are more intelligent than them, are they also losers that didn't shower? <laughs> is Thinking Ape, is, is he one of these guys that just didn't shower? Why don't you start developing a vocabulary that could talk to people you admire online? Imagine the people you admire online, right? Imagine Trump Okay, so the guys, you exposed yourself, and these guys who admired you are now saying what you are a scam artist, and you're getting pissed. Try to be able to talk with them instead of repeating the, the cleverest lines. That's what's going to help you on a date when you develop the confidence to talk as though you could... So them calling you out has something to do with them getting a date? <laughs> talk to the people you admire. Yes, a lot of this stuff is subjective. But I think a lot of people are looking for objective answers out there, like to prove amongst each other, yes, this is objectively true. The stats tell you this is true. <sighs> Your stats. Well, that is a very clever retort.
<laughs> so people are smarter than you, right? He's talking to his subs. Guys, this guy's so much smarter than you, and he proved it by taking a hissy fit. He, that, that really destroys what you said. Fuck the stats. When I say you... And the stats are subjective, right? As soon as he got validated by a woman, it was all subjective. You know, the divorce stats, they're subjective. Uh, uh, alimony is subjective. Uh, child support is subjective, et cetera, et cetera. It's all just subjective. You don't get triggered. I'm not pointing a finger at you. When I say you, it means me as well. Dude, it don't project. They aren't the ones getting triggered. They're calling you out. You are getting triggered. And um, I've actually said that here just to make a few of you snowflakes less triggered, like how... So you insulted your subs, is what you did. <laughs> how paranoid are you about relationships? You tell me. You dated for 30 years, then you took on the MGTOW label to posture that you weren't deselected. And now, were you paranoid during that time? Right? Why are you asking your subs? Why don't you just confess how paranoid you were? Paranoid am I about relationships? That should tell you maybe why you don't have friends or your dates don't work out. So you hear that, guys? All you subs of this loser, you don't have friends, according to him. Right? He's projecting again. This guy doesn't have male friends because he doesn't want them. He, he's a, he's his whole life is about getting the girl and one finally said yes you're weird man you you're looking for a mirror and you're very specific you you need to be a little bit more fair and not hold you're weird man you know so i guess you were i guess you were weird where are you here for 30 years <laughs> so you finally stopped being a weirdo Hold on to uh, not hold on so tight to what you believe and, and if you even if you do believe in what you believe in like wh whatever the topic is yeah like the world is round the earth is round don't hold on to your beliefs so tightly know that like no one's going to take it away from you you can still take your teddy bear away when you leave don't worry oh i see so he's calling you kids right Teddy bear is a security, but you know, security blanket, right? So I, I've had these insults when you start pointing out the obvious. <laughs> anyway, what? I'm not angry. I'm just passionate. Yeah, this is this is standard Midtown talk too, right? It's all posturing. This guy is angry. So what do they do? They change the language. That's very feminist of you, human. Just switch the language up and say, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm not angry, even though it's obvious that I am. I'm just passionate, you know. Really? Is that an excuse? These answers you have to answer yourself, but you can only do them by conversations like this and not being so brittle when someone like me just asks you. Look, someone like me exposes himself for a scam artist and a fraud. You shouldn't be so brittle. You should just accept whatever I do or say, no matter how hypocritical. A question, what do you think about this? How paranoid are you in your relationships? I asked here, how paranoid are you about relationships in general, okay? Now this is very insulting, Paul. There's gonna be something he's missing out on though. He should have a, a second poll asking, how many of you guys actually took my poll? Because even though the majority of them said they're very paranoid, what if only 5% of your subs took the poll? That means 95% of your subs uh, weren't paranoid at all, just recognize relationships for what they are, and or were not going to degrade themselves by taking this insulting poll in the first place. I don't know each and every one of you thousands of people out there. Then why are you asking Acting like you asking, why are you acting like you are? You you already said, hey, why, how come you didn't shower? How come you can't make friends? 
you you are lumping all these guys in together, aren't you? Specifically, of course, of course, yeah, I don't. Have ever notice, guys, that frauds can never keep things straight. I don't know where you stand and how special you are. Go hug your mum. I don't know. Answer it honestly. So you just need a hug, bro. Well, I'm sure that's going to help out the guy living in his car because he can't afford his child support payments, dude. That's the only way you're going to make better choices with the person you're sitting across from on a date. Oh, really? So this is all about dating and nothing else, right? And it's, hey, it's on, a, this is all hyper agency, right? Uh, this guy, I'm going to bring this up again, dated for 30 years, right? So that should tell you that it's not really up to him. Some woman finally accepted his bribe, right? You know, are you kind of unreasonably, par and that's what paranoia is. Let's look at the definition before I go into this. Paranoia is like unreasonably, I highlighted unreasonable, unreasonably or obsessively anxious, suspicious and or mistrustful. It's the unreasonable part that I want to highlight. Are these guys not jumping through hoops for 30 years, they're being unreasonable, right? Well, it's not, not about the world and nature, human. Um, isn't it isn't it interesting that after a guy gets taken to the cleaners by a woman in a divorce or he wanted to have kids then all of a sudden it's objective and it's science not to want to reproduce and have kids and be with a woman but then well it's not about reproduction reproduction right it's not about reproduction because again i'll say this every time if a guy gets with a woman and she doesn't want to have children he stays with her I'm guaranteeing you guys about human here. This woman that finally said yes to him, if she doesn't want to have children, he's going to stay with her. So he's still posturing, right? He's still posturing. It's all about your subjective feelings. Like in the moment, I don't... Is it subjective or did the guy learn the hard way through his divorce? I don't want to have anything to do with it. But nature says you should, so why shouldn't you? You can't eat your cake and have it too, fellas. Like, you either take the side of pure mass and biology. You should shut your mouth because you're trying to have your cake and eat it too. You are trying to expose yourself for the fraud that you are, and then you expect your subs to be 100% supportive and never call you out live that way like a some like some of you do and you seem to be very frustrated by it or take full accountability that everything is your fault everything is their fault really when women do this selecting i mean how long were you make to have right i uh it'd be maybe an overly long video but i should actually listen to this conversation here which is two hours long with you and <laughs> and thinking ape uh, I bet that uh, you do not take any blame for what your relationships were. Alt as much as reasonably possible and take ownership of everything, including what you choose, what your tastes are, what your taste. Just choose the right girls, guy. Like <laughs> that hasn't been said to guys since the dawn of time, has it? It used to be that aren't good for you anymore, that you need to modify to have a better, more tranquil um, predictable life going forward that's more stable. More stable, that just means gain money. That's what stability means. You have the wealth to have a house and a car to bribe a woman. That's all it means. Sitting there pointing at me and saying, well, human's gone back to the plantation. He's got one-itis. He's not being objective. I don't care. Well, <laughs> so they called you out and you don't care. You've got yours. Right. Thanks for exposing exactly what you are. This is what MGTOW guys has always been. I'm going to confess again. I was once MGTOW and I dropped it because I saw it for what it was. You know, unlike this loser here, I can admit my mistakes. So he's being called out and he can't admit his mistakes. I'm subjectively happy in my life. He can't, it's not just mistakes. That's wrong. He can't uh, admit 
that he's a fraud and that these are his choices. He's not into accountability. You can be subjectively. You know, accountability, the, the thing that we always say about the girls, well, men are no different. Be miserable and drink acid all day and be right. You know, sit there on your podium in the middle of space shouting at nothing. Boy, this guy isn't butthurt, is he? Holding up your imaginary gold trophy and pointing at me and saying, you just wait, human. You just wait until she leaves you. Great. Okay. Good for you. Hold your imaginary medal. Wow. Well, they are calling you a hypocrite. You are. They, you are a scam artist, dude. Your channel's still up. Why is your channel still up? Right? You made a dating channel because that's probably a part of your status. If you were truthful, you would take your channel down and say, hey, I got the girl, I don't need to. The only thing is, I bet this is a part of your status to keep her bribed, right? Well, you're not going to work very well when you're kicking your subs off, when you're spitting on them. But of course, I shouldn't say that because you're probably getting a lot of new subs that are really into a uh, dating coach, you know? What are you touching in your life? I'm standing up for what I believe. I don't care. What are you touching in your life? So you don't have a girl and that's everything. Wow. <laughs> what a loser. Guys, like really, spend your life any way you want. I might see it as you're wasting your time. But again, it's your time to either waste. So avoiding harmful relationships is wasting your time. I guess it's such a waste of time, but you put 30 years into this. So who's the person who's been wasting their time? So use constructively. Again, do what you want with your statistics. Uh, as far as I've seen, and many of the guys that are smart with a S-M-O-R-T, they, they do nothing and think because nothing negative has happened to them. They haven't had a punch or they haven't felt anything. They're just cognitively safe they're mathematically safe and and they're anyway this was the you didn't take your chances man bro you didn't put yourself out there the statistic result that we've got in real time 90 to 100 percent of of you apparently are parent like no most of you are 90 to 100 percent paranoid again this doesn't mean anything, this poll. You should get, have to know what percentage of your subs actually took this poll. Again, if 95% of your subs didn't take this poll, then we just assume they're in the 0%, that did, or, or they're not going to be insulted, right? So you don't understand anything about statistics. In your relationships, about relationships, about women. Again, it's your life. And I used to be there at one point or another. But I don't. Yeah, you used to be. You Well, actually, you still are. You never left, dude. What What one of the guys said in the PMC? That MGTOW were just men waiting in the marriage line. They weren't going anywhere. They were waiting in the marriage line. And in that regard... You are MGTOW still. You, all the MGTOW was, was loser men who were posturing that they weren't losers. Case in point right here. Don't like living there with that amount of cortisol regarding relationships. And if you're truly over it, you, would have, you wouldn't have this much interest in watching my channel, I would think. I agree with that. Uh, I'm not sub to this loser. Uh, I don't watch his channel. Like I said, uh, Vinny Boombats was good enough to show me this, right? Any man of self-respect will be not watching your content. I agree with that. Or being part of my channel. It means that you still want, you, you're not, you haven't come to terms with it. Yet, these guys probably joined up for your old content. And now they see that you've done a reversal.
and they're calling you out. If you if you've only if you're only ninety to one hundred percent paranoid, and this is a new thing for you, like if you've been really hurt recently, and you need this time to regroup, that's fine. But if you're ninety to one hundred percent paranoid about relationships, your whole life now, this is your philosophy. But it's not philosophy, dude. And paranoid's the wrong word. You know, they they've learned from experience. They learn some harsh reality, right? If you jump off the cliff with some fake wings, you're not going to fly, you know? <laughs> and you're always watching this content and you're dating this way. you are constantly got cortisol running through your system and you'll never be stable. You'll never feel in control. You're always going to be a twin. So why would they feel in control? You're not in control. Your relationship is completely one-sided. She's the one who decided she would get together with you, whoever this woman is. She has all the cards. She has all the legal rights, and you have none. She has all the societal support. You have none. I mean, these, this is observable fact. This is the way society is, right? So men don't have any control. There's no point in you doing this to men. You're gaslighting men, right? Witching bird on edge. You, you are going to be prey. You are going to be the deer always looking up, waiting. Why would you be the deer if you're paranoid? I mean, if, you're, if their paranoia isn't uh, justified, then there's no reason for them to fear being a deer in the headlight, are they? Because women actually love them and want to be with them, right? In looking around for the, 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 the lion, the, the predator that's, that's out to get you all the time. I'm just hoping that you guys will, um, this will encourage you to think differently, perhaps. You can't give the responsibility to science and say, well, that speaks for me. It ain't my fault. Nothing's my fault. Then we're no better than uh, entitled women who don't want to take responsibility. Well, dude, women are entitled for very good reason. Men pander to them. Uh, they get exactly what they want and they suffer no consequences. So their entitlement is earned. And that's all women. There isn't just a small group. This is the way it is. I mean, come on. Do you, are, you're not even plugged into reality anymore. Not that I don't think you ever were. You taking responsibility is the point here. <sighs> so these guys rejecting relationships aren't taking responsibility. I mean, isn't that what they're doing? They're looking at the objective reality and saying, I'm not going to do that anymore. So you're the one who's not taking any accountability. You're not facing reality. So that's what's going on here. There's no reason to be paranoid about something you aren't going to do. Fair enough. Don't. That's fine. I respect any decision you guys make as long as you're happy and you're not frustrated. And you're Okay, so that kind of ruins your poll, doesn't it? Since this guy obviously didn't mark that poll. He wasn't involved with the poll or he's one of the guys who marked zero. Not paranoid. This is something I only recently discovered uh, through my friend. He told me that if you actually go through a divorce lawyer, the prenup that's set up through an actual divorce lawyer is very hard to be broken. When people just write up... What are you talking about prenups, bro? Just trust her, bro. I mean, look, <clears throat> why be, you're being paranoid. <laughs> Only someone who's into paranoia, human, does prenups. <laughs> put up their own contracts and get run-of-the-mill lawyers to just write up something legal and put us... You realize that you are admitting to being paranoid about the relationship, Shirian. Stamp on it. Th that has just got so many holes through it that it's not a divorce legal document. So the, if you go directly to a good divorce lawyer, 
the chances that an average this is more hyper agency too. It's like you just didn't choose the right lawyer, dude. You didn't choose the right girl and you didn't choose the right lawyers. So ignore the fact that the legal system is anti-male and these judges throw out the prenup because they just can and they don't like the men that come to them, right? Ignore that and just say, oh, you just didn't do something right. Each person who's not a millionaire can't get it abided by I've, I've heard, I could be wrong, is uh, very unlikely. Form any kind of relationship you want. Like I said, you could be gay, you could be religious, you could be anything. Oh, you're just gay, bro, right? You're slamming me for being a laydown, so you must be just gay. Yeah, the old gay insult, yeah. Why are you all looking for a one-size-fits-all objective rule book that all of you can just read like a lemming? If you don't want to take responsibility for your own... Well, you did, dude. You were involved in MGTOW. You used all their lingo, right? <laughs> and also, objective reality would be one way. We all agree the earth is round, right? Right. Own life. If you want a book of rules handed to you, fine. But then don't get frustrated about being told what to do. Tell yourself what to do. Make up your... But they're not getting frustrated over being told what to do. They're getting annoyed at your hypocrisy. You're speaking out of both sides of your mouth, scam artist. Your own philosophical rules and ethics and abide by them. Why are you listening to me or getting triggered by me? I know what I want and how I live. I couldn't give a damn. No, they're not getting triggered by you. You're getting triggered by them. They're calling you out, you snake oil salesman, and you are triggered. What any of you think about my private life, if you want to be reasonable and we can... Well, relationships are all about our private lives, genius. Agree to disagree and you can be confident about how you want to live fine. But don't they sit there pointing it like, no, you're wrong, you're an idiot, and I'm right, and I'm... Yeah, they're going to do that because they're calling you out, dude. Look, you either uphold what you said in the past or you don't you never believed in your or your own horseshit that's why as soon as you got validation from this woman you dumped it i've seen this in MGTOW enough that i know that MGTOW is a bunch of horseshit just a bunch of deselected losers what makes you a least loser isn't that you're deselected it's that you're deselected and you could never admit it and now you're scanning off your subs, and now you're spitting on them when they call you out on it. That's what makes you a loser, human. You know, a PhD master in this. Most of the people out there who are LOLing in the comments section, the trolls, who are okay, so... So when these guys laugh at the fact that you're a hypocrite and you've been called out, they're just trolls, right? They're just doing this for the lulls. They're not actually just pointing their finger and saying, you know, the emperor has no clothes. Certain. They've got nothing that they're risking. They're, per they're perfect in their absence of anyone or anything in their lives. And they're saying, well, I, I don't have to worry about anything because nothing will happen to me. No, no one will do anything to me because I've locked myself in an isolated cage. Yeah, nothing. I, I actually, I disagree with that. Uh, feminists have been working the strip of, of our rights and they're still working on it. We can be getting that at any time, right? So they're wrong about that. But all you're saying is uh, they didn't get the girl, so they're beneath me. So I'm spitting on you now. That's what's going on here. Nothing will happen to you, but you aren't an expert in shaking hands with the world and interacting with other people. You're an observer. You are an... So you're not trying to get with a woman. That's what he means when he says shaking hands with the world, right? This is how subhuman human is. His whole life is about valid getting validation from women. That's what he is. An art critic. And he's such a low life. He can never admit that.
That's why he used these gender neutral terms, shake hands with the world, right? Because he would be exposing himself even further if he just was honest. In a museum, in in an in a in a art gallery, talking to everyone about you know in your black skivvy, saying what the artist was really trying to say was blah blah blah. Okay, so this is more. This is all just subjective, right? But you were part of MGTOW, and they didn't talk as if they were subjective. Neither did you. You talked like this was objective reality, your point of view. That's what you are. Again, be triggered. I don't care. You're not an artist. They're not triggered. You are. Artist. You're not out there trying and failing. The, the, the mathematical perfection of data, stats, laws, biology, manosphere, feminist knowledge, all of that. Notice what he's doing also. He's saying the manosphere and the feminist are the same thing. Right? You're just like the feminist. Something that was a video by one of these MGTOW literally decades ago, about, I think back in 2011 or something like that, had a video saying just like the feminists and how it was used against men. And here, this fraudster right here is now using you're just like the feminist against his MGTOW subs. It is lifeless and... The people that are angry in those circles who can't talk from a real life point of view, they're angry because it doesn't provide you with any in life. It doesn't. Oh, I see. So their point of view is false. It's not real. Yet that was your point of view when you were taking on the MGTOW label, right? <laughs> provide you with really anything that'll be useful. You take your manosphere or feminist when he says useful he means getting the girl okay Le jargon and lingo on a date in the workforce if you can only talk from that point of view you're weird if you can't talk with pedestrian language at the very least uh, i can talk with pedestrian language uh, women don't like men and that's why you had to go through 30 years of dating before you got this one right here or she accepted you right <laughs> so that's real talk that's simple talk there women don't like men men like women and so there's a gendered imbalance there it's very simple right so that destroys what you're saying there be able to use the stuff you've learned in the manosphere and, and use normal language to talk with someone. That's better. I try and do that when, on these subjects. But when you start talking about Briefault's law and hypergamy, it's kind of like, what do you think people are going to say when you have to explain these things like a religious person needs to explain? Oh, I see. So now it's a religion, right? MGTOW is a religion, right? <laughs> it's not science, guys, of guys looking at how things really are. Hypergamy isn't real, right? It's not objective. It's just a, a religion now, right? Luke verse 235 from chapter 3 in Exodus is kind of like, well, okay, dude, step away. Massive Mike says, what relationship? I'm a hardcore MGTOW. Good for you. Okay. As long as you can't even say MGTOW now, dude. I mean, that's what you, that's what you called yourself. Now you can't even say the word. Maybe he's worried about getting demonetized. Who knows? So, I mean, this guy is calling you out and your butt hurt. Who's your happy, Mike? Uh, the juice. Well, that's a great comeback. I hope you're happy, Mike. <laughs> isn't worth a squeeze. See? Fine. I, good. The juice we... isn't worth the squeeze. Well, if they look at your channel and how you said you survived 30 years of dating, that might be a proper conclusion, right? We can talk civilly if you're not there slinging mud at me like the girl pouch. Calling you out. They're not slinging mud. They're calling you out. Fix, fine. Live your life. Be happy. High five each other. I don't care. Um, yes, I you did. Yes, you do. That's why you made this video, you loser. You made this butthurt video 
because you're upset and you care deeply. You care deeply what other people think. You definitely care that your sub stay loyal to you instead of calling you out, right? I hope you've got friends in real life that you can, can catch up like this and high five each other and not just in comment section. Well, I thought you didn't know all, all these thousands of guys, right? So why are you implying they don't have real friends? Melee says, I'm not paranoid about relationships. Once you understand the nature of women, nothing to be paranoid about. I would be paranoid in the fact that situation of marriage from a financial perspective, really. Exactly. He did. Say, he, he just said it in a nutshell, right? He's not paranoid about relationships. He knows what they exactly are. And so do you, right? You're just a sellout. Sure. Understand women. And then if you decide to date, if you meet another person, another female, see if there's an individual that comes out of her. See if she's actually Jane, who happens to be a female. Most women and men out there. This is gibberish. What he's saying now. Are females and males politically. They're, they're you know. Uh, he's saying find the right girl. There's a unicorn. That's what he's saying. Uh, manosphere guys or feminists that just happen to be named Jane or John, Jane or John. Look for an actual Jane who just happens to have attributes of a female to one degree or another. The, the <laughs> comments regarding paranoia that I'm posing to you and me. I want you to look at this guy. This is the bottom of the barrel of humanity. This is the kind of guy you do not want to be. To everyone, think about it. How, do, how Where do you place yourself in paranoia? Zero to well, like most of your subs, they didn't place, they didn't take this poll. I'm willing to bet your most of your subs didn't take this insulting poll. So there's no point in talking about this, genius. They're not paranoid at all. You, you, one guy even said so. He's not paranoid. He just knows that that these relationships are one sided. Forty, forty to sixty, sixty to ninety, or ninety to a hundred, like most people which I'm surprised about. <laughs> Again, dude, how many of your sobs took this poll? So you can't say that most of guys think anything. In my comment section, but again, keep an open mind as long as it's, you know, some of you might be 100% and refuse to budge. Fine. Design your life the way you want. I've been there. But this isn't about design, right? Like you say, you dated for 30 years and you had no control over the, the woman said yes or no. One finally said yes after 30 years. And it's not guaranteed to last in any way or form, right? So there's no designing. Again, you're doing the old hyper agency on your subs. Yeah, I've designed my life the way I want. Completely locked myself in, into a beautiful cage. But then after a while, it didn't fit anymore. What do you do? Do you keep living your perfect safe world and more frustrated and the same movies don't satisfy. This is confession on his part. He's projecting his life onto all his subs. Same foods, your Friday night pizza nights don't satisfy anymore. You're trying to relieve your old, old hobbies and they don't. You can't sleep well at night. You're, you're having nightmares. You're you don't see your friends. Uh, people are disappearing from your life. You're well, dude. If you have no friends, if you stop going, that's up to you. I thought you were in control of your life, right? So why do you need to to have a girl in your woman? Or, sorry, a girl in your life for you to go see your friends. And people leaving your life, that's not up to you either, again. So you can be a, a bachelor and still have people in your life. The color is being lost from your life, and you don't know why, and you just keep going back to the well and repeating the same Groundhog Day, and it doesn't just doesn't stimulate you like it used to. Your personal life has very little to do with being governed by stats and data and stuff like that. How so? I mean, you're using stats and data, even though they're, they're, 
<laughs> they're not accurate stats and data, but you're using them to make your own point, right? And stats supposedly are about our lives, right? You know, if 50% of marriages end in divorce, right? That That's a part of your life, isn't it? So you're just in denial now that you finally got some female validation. You couldn't go it alone and you're willing to do anything to get with some woman. And guys see that and see what a pathetic subhuman you are and you're embarrassed over that. And so you made this butthurt video shitting on your subs who are calling you out. They're not trolls. They're just pointing at the emperor and saying he has no clothes. Man, man, oh man, like this is pathetic.